Welcome to my Teutonic Order guide on how to beat Poland on very hard difficulty with no allies, no loans, and no altar foring. This video will only contain highlights. If you want to see the full playthrough, click the link in the description. Timestamps will be put in the video so you can easily navigate through it. The strategy that I will be using will be to rush Miltek 4 and basically AFK for the first bunch of years while you pile up some gold and also prep for the war by stacking morale modifiers. To stay in the spirit of the challenge, I will only allow myself to ally the Livonian Order once I maxed out my relations because it's essentially a diplomatic vassalization which is an exception to the rule. After unpausing the game for one day, we get a shitty ruler. The stats of the ruler don't really impact how the first war pans out, but it might influence the rest of your campaign. So if you get a really bad ruler, like a 1-1-1, you might want to consider a restart. Remember to always assign your bad ruler to a regiment to increase the likelihood of it dying. This is something I forgot to do here in this campaign. One modifier that we are going for is the 10% morale from the, the Papal Blessing. It's why we chose a Papal Protege heir and why we are going to buy Indulgence once we have enough cash. The remaining starting moves are just about minimizing costs and maximizing uh, trade gains. As the Teutonic Order, you can't give out mana privileges because you need to have high crown land to complete a mission. Other than that, we will just be going for high equilibrium in all three estates because eventually we want to be going down the Prussian path. Remember to give out the mana privileges after you seize land in 1449. After the estates start improving with Austria and the Livonian Order, You might be tempted to actually sell your provinces for 100 gold while playing with these restrictions. Do not sell them though. The acceptance rate of the vassalization is determined by diplomatic reputation. And because you're already part of the HRE, you have plus one. And religious diplomats gives another plus one diplo rep. Also, make sure to wait one month tick so your trust uh, gets recalculated with them. If they do reject, you probably want to do a restart, to be honest. It's important that you help your vassal with clearing their rebels. You do not want these rebels up during the war with Poland. It's also important to not transfer trade from the Livonian order. You don't want their income to be too low or they will start deleting their forts. And you really need the forts to distract the troops in the war so you can easily target different stacks. We try to ensure to get high enough loyalty with the burgers to get a dev discount so we can make a small dev push on our capital to 20. This will give you a little extra force limit for the war, some more income, and most importantly it will help you get renaissance more easily in the rest of your campaign.
it is super important that you start the war near your vassal so their armies can immediately attach to you and then you can start your battles. If you don't have 50 papal influence at the start of the war because you got unlucky with cardinals, you have to give out a privilege that gives papal influence. Also make sure to fire your advisors until you get a morale advisor. It's important to note that during this run I have no RNG modifiers like the jousting tournament. Once none of your lands are being sieged anymore, you can make a beeline for the war goal and do a base race. The Teutonic Order has many fort defense modifiers, so you should win this base race most of the time. At this point I'm starting to run out of money and Poland has military tech 4 as well. This uh, battle right here is a, a lot closer than all the other ones so at this point you definitely want to look and try to peace out Poland. <laughs> 